Okay, in this question, um, the concentration of magnesium ions, assuming it's magnesium chloride, in seawater was analyzed to found to be 50 millimoles per liters. What volume of 0.200 moles per liter of sodium hydroxide solution would be needed in an industrial process to precipitate all the magnesium ions from 1.00 megaliter of seawater? So the very first step in this question is, well, what are they really asking us uh, to determine? They're asking us to determine um, the volume of sodium hydroxide that's needed to react with um, magnesium chloride. And I know they wrote the magnesium ions, but they're saying that assume, assume that magnesium ions are equivalent to magnesium chloride. So the first step is we're going to write the balanced reaction first. So what we have is uh, magnesium chloride, which is MgCl2 plus sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH, NaOH, produces, well, there'll be a double replacement. So we have sodium chloride plus magnesium hydroxide. However, the charge of magnesium is positive 2 and the charge of hydroxide is negative 1. So we need to balance the charges by putting the brackets around the hydroxide ions and putting the subscript of 2. And then now the next step is to balance the chemical reaction. So we have one magnesium, one magnesium, so that's balanced. We have um, one sodium, one sodium, that's balanced. However, we have two chloride ions, so we're going to balance by placing the coefficient of two in front of the sodium chloride. Although the chloride is now balanced, this coefficient um, unbalances our sodium ions because we have two sodium ions here. So we'll balance that. And then next step is we'll balance the oxygen. There's two oxygens on the reactant side. There's two oxygens on the product side. And there's two hydrogens on the reactant side and two hydrogens on the product side. So we have a balanced reaction. So now let's write all the variables that we're given. We're given 50 millimoles per liters of magnesium chloride in a 1.00 megaliter of water. And also we're given 0 0.200 moles over liters of sodium hydroxide. So the first step is we're going to convert that 50 millimoles over liters of magnesium chloride into moles over liters because our standard unit for concentration is moles over liters, not millimoles over liters. So on the side here, we'll write 50 millimoles over liters and we'll do some unit conversion right here. So we, have, we want the desired unit of moles on top and we want to cancel out the millimoles. So in one mole, there's 10 to the 3 millimoles, which gives us, if you put, place in the calculator, it will give us 0 0.050 moles over liters of magnesium chloride. So that's the value we will be using for our stoichiometry. And likewise, for our one megaliter of the seawater solution, we need to convert it to liters because our unit for volume is liters, not megaliters. So in one, sorry, I should erase that part. That one. Oops, it's not working. So in one megaliters, we have 1 million liters, and we can state that as 10 to the 6 liters, which gives us, well, the megaliters cancel out, will give us 1.00 times 10 to the 6 liters. Now we can start with the actual stoichiometry. So in 1.00 times 10 to the 6 liters, you know what? I'm going to erase this. And uh, so that it's more legible. So what we're going to do is if we are given um, 1.00 times 10 to the 6 liters. We're going to multiply that by the concentration of magnesium chloride, which will be 0. Point, oops, 0 0.050 moles over liters, and the liters will cancel out, 
to give us. Um, well, you know, I'm going to use leave the unit as is. So it's going to be 0 0.050 times 10 to the 6 moles of magnesium chloride. And now we can go from magnesium chloride to the moles of sodium hydroxide by using the mole ratio of the balance reaction. So we have for every one mole of magnesium chloride, we need two moles of sodium hydroxide. So we're going to write that as 0 0.050 times 10 to the 6 moles of magnesium chloride. And now we're going to multiply that by the mole ratio of our given balance reaction. So for every one mole of magnesium chloride, we require two moles of sodium hydroxide, which will give us 0 0.100 times 10 to the 6 moles of sodium hydroxide because the moles of magnesium chloride cancels out to give us moles of sodium hydroxide. So now in order to determine the concentrations of concentration of sodium hydroxide, all we need to do is divide this calculated moles of sodium hydroxide by sorry to determine the volume of the sodium hydroxide we need to we need to um, divide this moles of sodium hydroxide by its concentration. So let's do that as our next step. So we have 0 0.100 times 10 to the 6 moles of sodium hydroxide. And doing stoichiometry, we'll uh, multiply by 0 0.200 moles because the moles of the sodium hydroxide must cancel out over liters of the solution. So when we work that out in the calculator, it will give us um, 5.00 times 10 to the 5 liters of sodium hydroxide. However, since um, it gave us the volume in megaliters, we'll convert the final volume of sodium hydroxide into megaliters also. So given 5.00 times 10, oops, 10 to the 5 liters, for every 1 megaliter, we require 10 to the 6 liters which gives us 0 0.500 megaliters of NaOH.